Man, sooner or later, I'm gonna fucking miss him. Hey, um, give you guys a heads up, man. We're uh, we're still kicking too. Um, I am. I, I, I'm. I'm still sending an all call out. Um, as of right now, we have recovered a small child's body. Uh, the sheriff's department is en route. Uh, I'm going to take you over to the area so you guys can see it. Um, sheriff's department, BLM, and all authorities are out. So we're going to go over to where uh, one body is. And my team said there's reports of bones where they've been sawed off. But this is definitely human cadaver. Uh, this is between the ages of 9 and 14 years old. Um, it's still decomposing. The spine's still attached to the skull. Uh, huh? This. Sorry, I'm making a mess. Oh, fuck. You know where we're at? Where we're going? Yeah, I can't find specific words. All right. Okay, guys. We're losing reception on and off. It's pretty on and off, but uh, one of our teammates here, actually, he was actually praying before he came across this, so... Um, I'm telling you, prayer is powerful. Whether it's an old trail or a new trail or something, your prayer is very powerful. God will guide you in. Now, this is, without a doubt, just so you know, um, our team, we wouldn't be calling the sheriffs out here if we weren't 100% positive, positive that this is a human cadaver out here. And then get it checked, get cleared. We're going to go in. Trying to find the side routes in so we're not taking any mail train like main trail in. We don't want to cover up any tracks that were used. Uh, this has been out here for a little while though. If the bad guys are watching, we're, we're, we're on to you. Like, we're on to you. There. Yeah, looks like these are your house tracks too. That's definitely one too. Did you guys convoy back here? Or just two vehicles and one? I came all the way, we came all the way back out here first. All right, were you guys, you put it in then? And then you walked in from All right. weird because it's very close to where we were parked from the other direction. But this is like some cutest way to get there. If we do go out, there's a couple sections outside here. Uh, this is the Ironwood National Forest, for those of you who don't know. And that's really big, so good luck trying to pinpoint our location. Um, we're not done yet. We still got one more. Um, there, there's three. I found two camps that were abandoned, um, marked by white jugs that show signs that, you know, they were being used from coyote. Main coyote trail going, going up to those. Just follow the black drug, jugs. That's all you got to do. Just follow the black jugs. So the third one, we just got GPS coordinates from our rancher, um, whose uh, husband and then they found it. And that's the one we're going to next. That's the third one. Now this whole area is going to be saturated with law enforcement, BP, and everyone else. And I wonder if ICE and everyone else, if they're going to finally uh, uh, get off their ass and quit lying and covering shit up. But the, this whole area will end up saturated with law enforcement, which is good. Let me know if you need me to get out to get cleared. 
So we're very remote. Why don't y'all go and hit this around? We're very remote. And then drive way back out. We're very remote. We're in a human trafficking corridor. Okay? We are very remote. First off, you guys don't have to worry about authorities running us off. We were the ones that discovered the body. So there'll be no running off of our team. Uh, they can't run us off. We're the ones. We got to show them where the body is. Right now, they're trying to find. We're going around finding a vehicle access point. So when the sheriff's kids back here, we can drive them back here. Otherwise, we're going to be walking in quite a ways. But no, there was a body found. Uh, the age they're saying is between 9 to 14. Um, uh, decapitated. Decapitated. Spine wasn't with the head. Uh, there is rotting flesh on it. There's also a femur bone, human bone not far from it. And he said uh, bones where you can see a bone have been sawed, like it's been completely sawed. But this is definitely a human cadaver. This is definitely the cadaver of a small human Um like a real, like a small human. So. Don't let us catch you if you got any live children with you. We head back to the site and we can have to walk in from the back. And then, because we're going to have to show the sheriff's that if we can't find a way to drive in. Because right now we're just spinning around out here and we're nowhere near it. Yeah, it was, there's two, three spots where... It's something similar to the one. Then I'll go be able to circle around and bring it back into this way. I left out a straw pattern, but it got. Okay. Whoever's calling, not now, and I'm not answering it. Sheriffs have our coordinates. They know where to go, where to find us. They just got to keep driving our teams out there. Uh, yep. Now, once again, I haven't seen it, but I did talk to my staff and our volunteers and We're going one more people down here. We can go out and search every day. While we're waiting for all this, let's just get this out of the way. For everybody still waiting and waiting and waiting. And oh no, are they telling the truth? And oh no, is this really going on? We're going to need more people down here. If we would have had an adequate number of people down there, we would have been able to clear where those two houses were where I shot that video earlier, those two old drop spots that they were using. We would have been able to cover. Now, I only covered. I looked on the map, and I guess what, guys? I barely covered 5% of that thicket on that map. Okay? And we had teams scattered out over here, and we've been hidden all around to where that property is. So if the scouts are looking, they're hunkering down because we got people popping all around, and now we're going to converge on that property once we hand this scene over to the sheriff's department. But we don't want bodies out here. We want bodies. I mean, we only had, we came out here today with, uh, what was it, four, uh, 13 people, and we only had three people armed. And we had 13 people, but we had three people armed. We need bodies. We're not looking for, uh, we do want a security force. Our, uh, some of our families, yeah, some of our families want combat vets to come down and stay at their home and watch over their families because they were on the news exposing this shit, and they're getting threats. All right, we have joy. Huh? We have joy. Okay, we're going to take you out the back side here right now. This is the way we can bring the sheriffs in. If there's a main trail in and you look to see where the body drops, try to walk in a thick brush. I'm going to flip you guys around. If you guys are calling, no, I'm not answering it. Maybe sitting right up over here. 
here just off the path. How to get over here? I rolled it over to check out. Kicked it over. All right. Look yeah, and that still got some hammer. fresh. Look at the teeth. Look at the occipital. It still smells real bad too. So you got decomposing. This is still decomposing. Still brain matter. This is a small child's skull. This is definitely a child's skull. And the rest is maybe 200 yards this way. And the rest is the most 200 yards this way. And over into here and into there. 200, 300 yards. All right, so let's stay on this grass. So an animal probably, looks like an animal might have dug this up too. Yeah, that's, we find that's a hole, it was buried. Like it looks like, you know, it got half buried and the animal found it. So the re yeah, it's, it's in, in this. Wash it's been dragged around. Now, once again, I'm looking at that skull, guys, and, and uh, that skull looks smaller than my daughter's. My daughter, she's nine, she's big for her age, but that's a small child skull. That you, I, I can smell it, it stink, it's decomposing, that's a dead body. Now what we're going to try to do is find the other bones. And I'm leaving the three of our staff, three of our volunteers who discovered this uh, body with the sheriff's department. I'm taking my team over, and I'm going over to those other sons of bitches that's got a camp over here not far from here. And I hope you're watching because you got nowhere to go, and we're coming right for you, coming straight in. Yeah, you can share, share, share because we got a we got a child's body down now, right now, right, right, right along where we're doing our mission, right along where we wanted everybody to to pay attention and listen to the evidence and come down and see what we got. I'm beyond pissed, man. And if you can get down here, we need you down here. We need you in your campers and your RVs. You bring your camping equipment. We got public lands all over this corridor that you could have every right to camp in. And I'll tell you what, we could set up hundreds of camping spots all along this corridor where everybody could see each other. But guess what? The bad guys can't cross through. Like I told you, we're not calling for 10,000 guns on here. We're calling for 10,000 people. You give me a hundred badass armed combat veterans, and I think they can handle 10,000 people scouring the desert as long as they're positioned in the right spot to watch over them. Now I'm gonna be able to twist this around and say, we're trying to go start a war or anything else. The only ones we're at war with is the cartels, the human traffickers, and the pedophile ring. Now seeing the smell in that skull pisses me the fuck off. And once again, we could have more than one body. We don't know. Let's go see what these other bones look like. For all you naysayers out there, do you believe in God now? Because if you don't believe in him, I'm going to show you the devil. This is a black drug over here. This is coyote, sign of coyote. Sign of human trafficking. Sign of them crossing under. You don't believe in God, you're not gonna believe in the miracles we showed you, then I'm gonna go introduce you to the devil. I'm gonna show you what evil looks like because we're gonna catch these guys and we're gonna put a face right on it. You're gonna believe in God when this is done.
How far were the other bones from the skull this far? Well, from where we found the other stuff, it didn't look too far based on the, the lay of the land. We're crossing through here some more. This is this is public land. This is the people's land. You're allowed to come down and camp on this land. They're using this land to traffic women, children, and dope. So why don't we just use this land as it was intended? You guys start heading down this way. Every one of you that was on standby, wondering if we was going to need help, there it is. You got your second. Let's start heading down this way. Because I'm kidding you not, we can pan out and there's so much that we got right now and all of our spots are hitting and God's putting us on the right trail. We just need more believers to get out here. And I want every naysayer to come out here too. Because there is a naysayer that's on this uh, volunteer team, doesn't really think all this shit is happening. Guess what, he just had a rude awakening. God just changed his heart, seeing that little kid's skull and finding those bones. So you come on and say there ain't no human trafficking in this corridor and little kids aren't being abducted and there's no underground network of child trafficking for, and look. So once again, those joining us, we found, well, team, uh, team two over here found I was on the other side. Team two found a uh, child skull, decapitated, decomposing. Um, it was just on a video earlier. I could smell it. You can still see some of the fresh decomposition on the side top of the skull. Definitely human. Definitely a small child. Yeah. We rode and skull everywhere. We came back from over this way. Follow that peak. It's your landmark. And there were bones that were scattered out around when they combed through. So they're trying to do is go through and refine the locations. It's, they have the pinpoints for coordinates on their map, but they're they're all up over there right now resting for a minute. It's brutal out here and it's hot. And we're not done. Only three of our guys get to have a break because they were the ones that discovered the body. The rest of the eight teams going over to an illegal homeless camp. And it's not a homeless camp, but it's an illegal camp. And it's an active camp. Head back towards the side of the skull. We can look for the other bones later. When they get out here, they can go find all that. They'll have to take pictures and make it public. We'll have one of our teams that got their GoPro on, so. Oh, getting tired of these trees. <laughs> You got your phone? Yeah, I'm the only one that has service out here. Those of you just tuning in, we're going to go live back in a minute. I'm going to put the point on where that human school was so I can just track over to it. So I'm going to shut this down. 
we'll go back live and cover everything as it's happening. But child's body found in the human trafficking corridor that we, we've stated is here and we still believe is here and we're going to keep operating as if it's here and so far we haven't been proven wrong. Sheriffs and local authorities en route. Huh? The what? Juice boxes? Where? The skull was... Where's the skull from here again? We came out way in the wrong place. Yeah. Let's go down here and take where the skull is. That's the thing is out here. You can get... You got, you got our team watching the vehicles? Yeah. Alright. Did you find it? Danny was uh Danny's one of the ones who discovered it. She's back at the vehicles for the sheriffs. Well, Border Patrol didn't care. Did you tell him you found a skull and body? Yep, I told him that it was a kid and the jaw was ripped off and they were dismembered. Just beheaded and they just stared at me and I was like They stared at you. Yeah, they stared and then they were just like, all right, just so BP was it was BP out here? Yeah, Border Patrol. And you told them we had a skull. A child skull with the jaw ripped off. And they just All stared at you. Missing. All teeth are missing. Uh, there's still sp uh, spinal cord and still connected to the skull. And then I told them all that stuff and then they just said to contact the sheriffs and we asked if they had a better way of contacting them than we do out here. Because they have radios and everything and they just shook their head no. Okay. Pretty much told us we're shit out of luck. We gotta call them ourselves. Why would they not secure a scene? Well, yeah, I know that. Why would they just leave you guys out here too? We'll get those questions answered, and we'll figure out which. Uh, here we go. We got uh, more black jugs. So they are cutting through this corridor. We're gonna take you guys, you can go ahead and share, 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 because we're about to show you. Show you the consequences of everyone covering up evil and everyone else sitting on their ass not doing nothing. We're gonna show you the consequences of it. Yes, you parked over by it. There's a huge campsite area, you can tell it. Have we looked around for a thicket of trees? Any place where they could be tied to, being raped, or any place we have a dip in the wash that could be an underground bunker around this area? And I can tell you what, authorities aren't gonna be looking for any of that. Yeah. You can smell. All right, there it is. take me through where the other parts are too. So for those of you who don't, there is a skull here. No, I don't want no one else to touch it. He kicked it out from under there to see what kind of bone it was. So, all right. Now you can kind of still see how it's wet, decomposing. All right, this is a water bottle. All right, and there's a skull for size comparison. This is indeed the skull of a child, a small individual. We are waiting for the sheriff's department to come out here. Where's the, uh, all right, the near spot where the other bones are, you guys know that they're gonna mark? Texas knows, he said that you uh, left it in the spot where he knows where it's at. Tex. Right. All right. Then I could be able to say that this isn't what it is, but once again, it could be a, a 
Could be some just psycho randomly killed a kid and dropped them off and it's not tied to, the, tied to this human corridor. Could be that. Could be a lot of things. But it does point to the fact that we have children who are in danger down here and in Arizona along the border and little children are being affected and they're being beaten and raped and killed. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's the cartels, the MS-13s, the Danes, or even uh, uh, the pedophilia network. We don't care. Whoever they are, they're the enemy. Huh? Flip this around. Well, a lot of that bedding down, you'll see mule deers and animals come. So when they come, they'll bed down here. See, this right here is just, this is just animal bed down. This is just where animals are bedding down. Dude, it's not there. Man, we need to go back and film it because I tell you, well. you can't give up Got on it. it. That's someone's kid. You can't just give up. Like you can't just be like, well, right. shit out of luck. Like, go back. Alrighty, you guys all hydrated. Fuck no. <laughs> well, we got water. You got water over here in the truck too, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go back and meet the other trucks. I wanna have uh, someone here to secure this. Um, and here's the thing when some sheriffs come here uh, They'll be looking for volunteers probably to go out so you can comb this area it looks like some animal probably got a hold of This is buried and animals drug it out so you could parts could be everywhere, but uh, they'll do a comb search We're going to a place where we think kids might be actively held right now That's that's what we got to hurry up and get out of here to do So I just want the three who found this body to stay here and the rest of my team We're gonna go and keep pushing Huh? Horse tracks, yeah. The guy, the guy, the rancher that leased the uh, the, the land or whatever, he, he raids horsebacks out here. So he knows about this area. Okay. So we're staying here, huh? You guys are going on? Well, we're going to wait till sheriffs get here. We're going to hand it over. Where was, uh, you guys remember where the bones were that they were saying it looked like they were sawed, cut straight? Yeah, okay, we're on this wash. Okay. No, I'm not very, they can tell where it's at by this bag in the... Here it is right here. By that here. bag, all right. Here's where the trucks are on the next wash. Yeah. Okay, so you go down this side of the thicket, oh, just about a half mile, and it's right there. All right, from our location, and that's where other body bones, where other bones are. Yeah. Do they look like they're around the same size as with our skull? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna say it was probably bigger. Might be bigger than our skull, so we might have more than one body. Okay. We had a severe fracture from here to here. All right. Left side. Waiting on the sheriff's department. I know they're en route. I talked to them. And uh, border patrol. Uh, we'll be going down to figure out which of your officers was in the area when they originally took the report that there was a body out here, a child's skull found, still decomposing. It stinks. You can smell it out here. All right? That stinks. That's death. That's death for those of you who don't know what it smells like. Come out here because you're going to smell it all over our desert because nobody wants to do anything to stop these assholes. Nope, I got a lot of you guys calling. Don't call me now. Nope, I got I got some of you calling right now. I guess you you want to come and oh now you want to believe. Don't call me now. You know who I'm talking about too. Cause we're gonna keep coming out here and do it regardless of whether we got your approval or not. Don't call me now. The only one I'm listening to is God. So I don't trust the government. Damn sure don't trust the cartels, or the gangs, or anybody. So I mean, the only one I have to trust left is our team and God. My family, our team, and God. And our team's massive. And it's growing every day. These are the remote areas. You'll be coming down to search. These corridors are vast. These valleys where they cut up in the washes. They go on and they go on. And if you're not trucking in water, guess what? You're in trouble. I'm going to work my way back to the vehicle because my phone's dying. Heat. And I just ran the whole long video deal of my search over on the other side hold on I might have enough juice to get over here huh
over. I don't mind. I mean, you can kick over that skull. I can understand if you didn't know what type of bone it was till you rolled it out from the tree. But remember, stay off those main trails. And if you see anything, just don't touch it. Just mark it. He needs someone to drive. Huh? He needs someone to drive. Huh? You need somebody driver. Yeah. All right. My guys are getting wiped out. <laughs> I told them today it was going to be brutal. Like two miles out there. Yeah. I told them today it was going to be brutal that we were going to go out and we were going to hit and put them out in the hottest part of the afternoon. We're putting them out in the hottest part of the afternoon in the worst conditions possible. This way I can see what type of team we have. Because the A team, we're conditioned to it, you know. And so these guys are getting a crash course and what it is like brutal. If they can handle what we're going through today, then they can handle anything we're going out. Because they're busted, they're wide open, exposed to the sun, and they're walking for hours and hours and hours. And hours. And hours. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you will be, you will get conditioned. If you can make it through a search like this, which is what we call a grueling track, if you can make it through one of these, and you can make it through just about anything out here. Because um, it's extremely hot. There is no cloud cover. But you guys keep sending water and definitely fuel cards. Anybody of you guys, listen, anybody that has horses, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, get your ass out here, please. Please get out here. Because we're going to be able to cover a whole lot. We did a lot of we Everybody just say a prayer for the family of what of this child uh, of this child that did it. say a prayer for this family. I'll tell you, Bruce, we were actually on our hands and knees crawling through some of that stuff to find that that thick in there. And keep praying to God that He'll keep revealing stuff. No, I Anybody's trying to say that we're planning this and setting this up and everything, you know, don't do this. Come down here. Come out here with us. Because media, the only way you're going to get any interviews from us is if you come out here and go through this with us. If you make it down through here one week volunteering under my command, I'll, let, I'll talk to you for 10 hours. I'll answer every question you want if you can last one week volunteering down here under my command. But you're not going to be able to go out and report nothing. You're going to suffer like we do as we go out and find the truth. We're back here at the main you know? point, still waiting on Sheriff's Department to get out here. Hey. Yeah. Tell them I'm about to sit right behind you and I didn't you. Oh, didn't know that we were at it. I just lost fucking power. This is not charging. If you want to do that, Lewis, sometimes that's fine. Able to call Turn the guard on? No. Call